It's good. Um, I am Buddha Rai. I'm Bhutanese, Nepali. I was living in Eureka right now. Uh, first of all, I want to say hi to China from there. <laughs> Actually, I miss you a lot. I'm quite busy, so I didn't get time to talk to you, meet you. So, but it's time that I see you from here. Um, before starting something, currently what's going on me? I want to go back my life, past life. I was born in Bhutan in 1988. So after like four years around, I was thrown um, up. Like I was put in jail from my country, and I stayed 20 years in Nepal as a refugee in a camp. Um, I still remember my days, my past days, uh, that, uh, the time that I spent as a child and the place where I grew up. Um, it's a really backwarded country, but it's beautiful. The one thing that I still remember and I miss about my country is like, work is just an option for us. Being a refugee, everything was given to us, it was free, and those who want to work, it was like after, it's for the extra things. So over here, it's totally different. Working is kind of compulsive. But also, if you work over here, you can get everything. Like, you can have a very, very um, fruitful, awesome life over here. Um, here is a lot of chances, and the back in the country, Chances are very, very limited. If you have talent, if you got something, but also you can't do nothing. But over here, everything is free, you have a lot of opportunities. And the Department of Labor offered me a chance to get some training. So I stayed, I spent my one year over there. I got I learned some skills and also I got a GED, and which is very, very important for me. Um, I came like two years earlier. It means like 2010, it was a December, uh, full of snow, I have never seen snow before. <laughs> so I just came here, I just dropped and stared at this airport, and I just saw a white heart around me. So I told she said, bad, what's this? So she told me like, it's snow. I told I have never seen And the first thing that I saw was different thing. The car that drove me from Syracuse to Eureka was quite a, kind of different. Like, bad, Sister Beth was sitting on the different side. We used to drive the car on the right side, but she was sitting on the left side. So what's this? She told me it's the it's country, it's the car. So everything's different. So that was the first step that put something in my mind that this is totally a different place, different culture. So you gotta work, work on it to get something. So I started working it, on it. And right now, I feel like I'm pretty good, I'm alright, I can survive over here. And I started improving my language because, you know, you, everybody knows that like, this is our second language. And so I'm still improving, I'm still trying to get to do my level best. Um, and lastly, what I want to say is that I want to, thanks to, I want to give thanks to the United States government for bringing up us over here and giving us the opportunity to do something, to have a better life. And I think most, most of our people, they feel, uh, they are not still feeling okay because everything is different. You can just see me over here. I still love my country, my culture. My, this is my dress and this is Nepali dress. So I still love it. So um, we are the youth, so we can change our mind, but still some of our people, the older people, they grew up over there, they spent the rest of their time, and most, especially most of their time, in their own culture, own way, own place. Like, everything was different. So they come over here and they feel like, what's this, what's this? They always ask a question to us, what's this, what's this? We have never seen this, what's this? So, but also, uh, from here, I want to say to I want to say to my all people that do not lose your hope. This is the place. This is the country where you can get uh, very very good chances, very very good opportunities to build up your life, to build up your career, and be a great man with great success. Thank you so much. Thank you.